I need to take hymn number 348, 348. Mm -hmm. This Mass is offered for the soul of Glenroy Aguirre, first death anniversary, for the soul of Francis Ashes de Souza, first death anniversary, for the soul of Victor Sylvester, Mans Mine, and for multiple intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pause for a few moments and prepare ourselves to celebrate the Eucharist by calling to mind our sins and asking for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most easy fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, ask that the name of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to Lord our God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of adoption, we may look forward in confident hope by the rejoicing of the day of our resurrection. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of Pilate, when you had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy and Righteous One, and you asked for a murderer to be granted to you. And you killed the author of life, whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses. And now, brothers, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. But what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and turn back, that your sins may be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the first letter of Saint John. My little children, I'm writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation 
for our sins and not for us only but also for the sins of the whole world and by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments whoever says i know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoever keeps his word in him truly the love of god is perfected the word of the lord thanks be to god And with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory be to you o lord. lord at that time the two disciples told what had happened on the road and how jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread as they were talking about these things jesus himself stood among them and said to them peace be with you but they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a spirit And he said to them why are you so troubled and why do doubts arise in your hearts see my hands and my feet that it is i myself touch me and see for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that i have and when he had said this he showed them his hands and his feet and while they were still disbelieved for joy and were marveling he said to them have you anything here to eat they gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and he ate before them then he said to them these are my words that i have spoken to you while i was still with you that everything written about me in the law of moses and the prophets and the psalms must be fulfilled then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem you are witnesses to these things gospel of the lord My dear brothers and sisters Jack was a train driver a motorman He was constantly moving along a certain line every day for many years He had got used to it he was about to retire and as he used to go every day in the train he used to pass through villages and certain towns there was one particular place when he used to pass he used to see a nice house which was white in color and he was quite fascinated by that house it was like a big bungalow there were a lot of plants around a lot of roses from a distance you could see because that house was quite far from the railway line or nearly 100 meters away he could see that the whole thing was looking so beautiful and he used to say to himself when i retire 
I wish I could build one such house. One fine day as he was passing along that way, he saw a little girl coming out of that house. And as soon as she saw the train, she waved out. And Jack loved it and so he blew the horn to show that even I recognize your waving. And the girl was happy, could see she was jumping with joy. She was a small little girl. This went on for a few days as their friendship grew only in this matter. Sometimes her mother used to come out and stand and even she used to raise her hand and wave out. This went on for some time. Sometimes they were not there and used to get worried as to what could have happened to them. But suddenly the next day he saw them again so he was happy. A certain type of a bond was created between them. When he retired, he went to another place which was quite far away to stay. One fine day he decided, I will go and visit that house. Because for so long I have known these people but from a distance. So he goes to that house and when he approaches that house, he is in a shock. Because that white house which he used to see from a distance was not so white. The plants were not very well kept. Though from a distance it should look nice. There were cracks in the wall, the paint had peeled off. Suddenly that lady came out with her daughter who was little grown up now. And he was surprised to see them and they did not know who he was. So he introduced himself as the train driver who used to blow the horn and yell us to wave out. So they said yes, yes, we recognize. But that was all. There was no such thing as intimacy in their talk. And he felt that he was not wanted there. Although he had grown so fond of them and he wanted a house like that, he was quite disappointed. But they invited him, he went in to have tea. But he saw the house was so badly kept, very shabby. His whole dream collapsed. He came home disappointed. He lived in a dream world but when he came to the real world, he was disappointed. Today's Gospel tells us that the Apostles are all together. They are discussing as to what has happened after the death of Jesus. For them, Jesus could never die. He has come as a Savior, as a Messiah. Very often Jesus asks them and once he asks them, who do people say I am? And Peter said, of course some of them said, you say one of the, they, they say, you are John the Baptist, one say you are this apostle, this and that. He went on giving different versions. <clears throat> and Peter said, you are the Messiah. And Jesus says, the Holy Spirit has enlightened you. And the very next moment, Jesus tells what is the meaning of the Messiah. And Peter says, this will not happen. And he says, get behind me, Satan. The way you are thinking is not the way that God is thinking. The Messiah has to suffer. He has to die like a grain of wheat, fall to the ground and then it will bear abundant fruit. But they did not understand. The apostles were living in a dream world with Jesus around them. They thought he has come as a messiah and they used to fight for first places. One to sit on the right, one to sit on the left. And Jesus tells them, the greatest among you is the least, the servant of all. But they never understood that. When he multiplied the ro uh, loaves, they wanted to make him king. But Jesus just walked away from there. So the whole idea of Jesus trying to make them understand the meaning of his passion, his life, passion, death and resurrection was beyond that. It was like a dream world for them. And now when they see Jesus on the cross dead, the whole world collapses and they all run away. They are hiding. They are frightened. Only John remains at the cross. They are all frightened. Now Jesus appears to them. Today's gospel. And he opens their mind once again to tell them the real truth, the real life of the world that he has come. Not a dream world. And that is why he shows his hands and his feet and says, See, I have been crucified. I have died. And I have risen. I am not a ghost. A ghost has no flesh and bones. Give me something to eat, he says, to show that he is alive. 
the persons are now they have understood the meaning of the life of Jesus we spent 40 days in preparation during the season of Lent and in one day we celebrate Easter and we have forgotten about it so Easter just for one day and it's over of course we have got another five weeks of the Easter season <coughs> we will be reflecting but that's all for us the resurrection of Jesus was 2000 years ago <coughs> it happened in Palestine in Jerusalem and it's over but Jesus is telling us now it is still going on it is just not a dream that took place long time back we have to live it even today the passion death and resurrection of Jesus has to be lived in his disciples his apostles we just can't go on preaching about it we have to live it and living that means living your daily life as God calls you to live when Jesus told his disciples come follow me what are the things he told them necessary for an apostle or a disciple he didn't give them a big list he just said take up your cross and follow me take up your cross nothing else take up your cross now what is your cross you have to find out and that is all done in love the cross is a sign of death is a sign of pain for many but remember the cross is a plus sign it is a life giving cross although Jesus died on it there is pain in that but in that pain there is a lot of love and that is why the pain that you take in looking after your old parents or children or those who are invalid those who are housebound those who are sick there is a lot of pain in that but you are doing it out of love if there is no love then there is no sacrifice in that that anyone can do but if you are truly really the disciple of Jesus and Jesus says in the last sentence you are witnesses and that witness is not 2000 years back you are daily living that life to show that Jesus is alive he is with us he is resurrected is a occasion of joy so share this love and joy as today's first reading St. Peter on the first day of Pentecost speaks to the people he tells them that you Jews have killed the life giving person you are responsible but then God is not going to punish you all he has forgiven you all and they say what must we do he says repent forgiveness and be baptized join the family of God the father the son and the spirit second reading St. John says the same thing we are all prone to sin even though we have been forgiven by Christ but God is not angry he continues to support and help us to get out of the situation and that's very painful but because we love God and because we love one another we have to do a lot of sacrifices let us not live in a dream world because a dream world collapses anytime let us live in the real world where all this is going on and we as the followers of Christ are told take up your cross and follow me and you stand I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only Son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting Amen when Jesus broke the bread the disciples eyes were opened and they recognized him we turn to the Father and pray that our eyes and the eyes of our world 
may be open to God's infinite love. Our response. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop, clergy and religious, that they may encourage the people to live their faith with generosity of heart and mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for their faith, that they may not lose their confidence in the promise of Christ and be witnesses of God's love around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parishes, that they become centers where vocation to priesthood and religious life are identified and nurtured. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and close to death, that Jesus, the risen Savior, will give them grace and strength during the time of trial and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those involved in spiritual direction and animation, that they may be enlightened by the Holy Spirit to guide and mentor others in the way of spiritual life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the forthcoming elections, that its citizens exercise their franchise for a good governing, and that we may get the right party to rule the country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pause to pray for our personal and community needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, you raised Jesus from the dead to life. Open our ears that we may know your will and our hearts that we may do your will. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly take hymn number 369, 369. Take it, this is my body, broken for you. Take this and drink the blood I have shed, eat of my flesh and Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given a cause for such great gladness, grant that also the gifts we bring may bear fruits in perpetual happiness. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but def defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, 
every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your birth, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, all the bishops and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in our midst in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you shall enter, enter my, my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ brings us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. My spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus Christ, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me. In the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, and abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. In the breaking of the bread, break my heart of stone. In the pouring of the wine, pour into me your grace of Yeah.
Jubilee prayer. <coughs> Kindly kneel for the Jubilee prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your son, Jesus Christ, our brother and the flame of charity and kindle in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seed of the gospel. May those seed transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth when with the power of evil vanquish your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasure of heaven. May that same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed, be glory and praise forever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Announcements. Pre-baptismal catechesis will be held on the fifth floor of the Joyanand Center on the 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th April from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. For registration, please email at prebaptane2020 at gmail.com or call on 9820955943 between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. only. Last date for registration is 19th April. Parishioners, please note that the confirmation and the first Holy Communion forms for the year 2024-25 will be available at the church office from next week, 15th April onwards, during office hours. Submit the same at the earliest or latest by 26th May. Parishioners, please note that there is a scarcity of vacant temporary graves requesting parishioners whose loved ones are buried at St. John the Baptist Church Cemetery or at three petrol pump for two years or more to contact the church office for shifting of the mortal remains to the niche or vault at the earliest. The music for change children and parents will be selling merchandise, bags, t-shirts, mugs, fridge stickers, after all masses to raise funds for their show, The Road to Success, in aid of the Jesuit NGO Reap EcoStem on 26th April, on 27th April 2024. Do patronize the stall and encourage our children. Summer Club will be held from 2nd May to 12th May from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the church. Different workshops on sports, creativity, learning talents, cricket, football, handball, and telegames will be organized during these days. Forms are available at the church office, charges rupees 100 for registration. Usher's meeting next Sunday, 21st April, in the auditorium after the 6.30 p.m. mass all ushers are requested to be present. Attendance is mandatory. Next Sunday, the 7 a.m. Mass will be in Marathi. Tridum in preparation for the Feast of Our Lady of Hope Church, Gormal, begins from Thursday, 24, 25th, Friday, 26th, and Saturday, 27th April. Our Lady of Hope Church Gormal Feast is on Sunday, 28th April. Details are displayed on the notice board. Last Sunday's collection amounted to rupees 82,070. OLPS 
box collection amounted to rupees 5,932. Divine Mercy Navina collection amounted to rupees 13,040. Divine Mercy Feast Day collection amounted to rupees 47,920. We thank you for your generosity. Kindly stand. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. I tell you now, go proclaim, I give to you my spirit's flame. He is at work.